This video clip covers lesson practice number one from set one from this section of the notes. And in this section, we're converting decimals to fractions. So let's read the instructions. Use option one from the math menu to convert each decimal into a fraction. Enter the decimal first, then enter the arrow over fraction command and press enter. So let's do this. Here's the decimal that we are going to convert first. And it says to enter the decimal first. So 0 0.328125. Hit the math key. And then choose this option right here, which is going to convert it to a fraction. And when I hit enter, it should spit out the fraction. And it does. It's 21 over 64. So let's write that down. 21 over 64. Let's just do one more. So, ah, we don't need to hit clear. Let's just enter this decimal in. 0 0.40625. Again, hit the math key. And we're going to convert it to a fraction. And hit enter. And we have 13 over 32. So we have 13 over 32 is the fraction here. So go ahead, uh, finish this lesson practice number one, go on to lesson practice number two, and then move on to the next clip. This clip covers lesson practice number one from set two in this section of the notes. So let's read the instructions. Set two, we are going to deal with the cube and cube root function on our calculator. And it says use option three and option four from the math menu to evaluate each expression. Do not round. So the first expression that we're going to evaluate is 6 to the third power. To do that in your calculator, we are going to type in 6, hit the math menu, and there's option 3 is the exponent of 3, or the cube. So let's choose choice 3, and now we have 6 cubed into our calculator. Press enter, and we get 216. So let's write that down, 216. And then I'm going to skip over to this one right here and show you the cube root of 729. Now with this one, I need to go to the math menu first, choose the cube root function right here, choice 4, and then enter the value here of 729. And you'll notice on my calculator I need to close that parenthesis off. I'm going to hit enter, and I come out with 9. So let's write that down. So go ahead, finish this lesson practice number 1, and go on to lesson practice number 2, and then go on to the next video clip. This video clip covers lesson practice number 1 from set 3 in this section of the notes. And this section covers calculating the nth root and using that function. Now before I go on to the problems, I just want to point out that when you take the square root of 9, it, it's 3. And when you take the cube root of 27, it's 3. And you would use this nth root function when your index to your radical is greater than 3. And if you don't know what index means, it's this little number in the radical here. 4 is the index of this first problem. The index to the second problem is 5. The index to the radical in this next problem is 6. In the last problem, we have an index of 7. So anytime your index is greater than 3, you have to use this function. And to use this function, we need to enter in the index first, and then hit the math key. And then you notice choice 5 has an x for the index, where choice 4, which we used in the last clip, had an index of 3 appearing there. So this one's x because it, the calculator allows you to enter in whatever you need to. And we needed to enter a 4 in this one. So we have a 4 as our index. So then we just enter in the 6,561. And notice there's no parentheses starting off or closing here, so I don't need to close them. Hit enter, and I have 9. So let's type that down, or write that down, I should say. And I just want to show you what happens on this one down here before I go on to the next one there. I have another index of 4. Hit math. Choose choice 5. 
and type in negative 1,296. Hit enter. And I have a non-real answer. That is because whenever my index is even, you cannot take the root of an odd number. It just doesn't work. So let's type in, or write down, just say non-real answer. So don't be afraid if you come across that message on some of these and just write that down as your answer. So let's just do one more. Let's take the fifth root of 3,125. So I need to quit that. Type in my index of 5. Hit math. Go down to choice 5. Enter in 3,125. Hit enter. And we have 5 as our answer. So I'm going to write that down. And then go ahead, finish lesson practice number one, lesson practice number two, and then you'll be all set for this lesson.